So you're on a Zoom call or Discord or any other voice chat application and the person on the other side is complaining that either you're too loud or too quiet or there's a lot of background noise. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to stop Windows from auto adjusting your volume settings without you knowing anything in the background. And in most cases, that auto setting is a hit or miss. So let me show you how to disable it in Windows 10 or Windows 11. Let's get right to it. So the first place you can start to diagnose the mic automatically adjusting your volume to either increase it too much or decrease it then nobody can hear you is just right click your start button, hit run, type in mmsys.cpl, go to recording tab, scroll down to find your microphone. In most cases, if you're using a built-in microphone, it should say real tech, real tech, something like this. I'm using a USB microphone, which is this one, but these settings remain the same. So I'll demo it on Realtek first. So if I go to Realtek microphone and then I go to levels, you can see right now it's set to 90, mic boost is zero, but this is where the magic happens. Go to advanced tab and make sure that allow applications to take exclusive control of this device is disabled and also disable enable audio enhancements. Why? Because most sound cards come with accompanying software such as Realtek. I'll show you. So this is the software that came with my PC. If I go to my mic array, you can see there are a few features like enhanced voice recognition, AEC. You can leave these on, but if Windows has it on from here, it will conflict and cause issues. Alternatively, you can turn them off from here as well, but it's totally up to you. But these settings will affect how much control applications have over the volume of your microphone. Let's go to the next mic same thing disable exclusive disable audio enhancements apply check the levels check the mic boost depending on what you want press ok let's go to the usb microphone go to levels correct you can see i have allow applications to take exclusive control uncheck done that's the first place if you're still having trouble you can look at the individual app settings for example if i jump onto discord settings and then I go to voice. You can see here automatically determine input sensitivity. That is turned on, that's fine. But what you're looking for is auto gain control. There it is. So echo cancellation is set to on, which is good. Advanced voice activity is on, but this is what you need to disable, automatic gain control. Why? Because basically this changes your volume. If you talk loud, it will reduce your volume. In some cases, if you have a really good quality mic, you might want to leave it on, but in 99% of the cases, you want to disable automatic gain control, so turn that off. Now you should have a much better experience of your volume not actually going crazy. While we're at it, we'll also go back to mmsys.cpl. We're going to communications and we make sure that Windows doesn't auto mute your audio when you're talking on the phone. All you have to do by default, I think it is set to this. You just click on do nothing and that will not mess with your, any of your volumes when you're talking on the phone. Press OK. Lastly, you can find your microphone and see if there is an updated driver available. So if I go to my device manager by right clicking the start button, device manager, go to your audio devices, sound audio video controllers, and there you go. We have Realtek audio for the built-in audio, and then I have the USB condenser microphone. I can right click, update driver, search automatically, nothing came up but if you're having problems and looking for a new driver all you have to do is just go to your manufacturer's website to do that you need to first find your system model number to do that we just go to system information type in system information and here you can see the baseboard product or baseboard manufacturer both of these uh, brand model i can just go to the manufacturer's website whether it's a motherboard or a laptop so FX506HM, the ASUS website, and then I go to support, and I go to driver, click on choose, select the model number, select the OS, I'm on Windows 11, scroll down until you see audio. You can see there are a couple of versions here. There is Intel Smart Sound Technology, SST, and then we have audio driver. This is Realtek. The latest one is from 10th of February, 2022. 
this is the version number. We can check the version number by double clicking, click on driver. You can see we're 6.09239.1, 6.09239.1. So I'm already on the latest driver. I don't need to do anything. If yours is not the same, you just download and install the file. It's not very complicated and then you should be good to go. Finally, after doing all these changes, if stuff doesn't work, maybe you just give your system a reboot by right clicking, shut down, and then reboot or restart. Because shutdown is not the same as restart. If you don't regularly restart your system, it will kind of bog down and start causing issues with mics and stuff. So I highly recommend that you restart your system. Check how long ago you restarted your system. You can see I restarted mine 21 hours ago, so not too long ago. But if you see a number here that says 5, 6, 7, 10, 15, that means this is days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So you need to make sure that you restart your system regularly if you don't have a lot of stuff open. And there you have it, guys. That's how you fix your mic on Windows 10 or 11 not working either on Discord or Skype or whichever voice application you have. If you have a question relating to any specific hardware or software, you can drop it down in the comments down below. Anyway guys, smash that like button if this video helps you. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there. And you can check out my other content right up here. And thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!